Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 6-151 and this problem is taken from chapter number 6 that is bending and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. And the topic which we are covering is stress concentration. So statement is the bar is subjected to a maximum moment of 175 Newton into meter. If radius is equal to 6 millimeter, determine the maximum bending stress in the material. So you can see this is the rod where a moment M of 117.5 Newton into meter is applied. So you can see this bar is not uniform. Here the width, height or width is 6 millimeter and here the width is 40 millimeter. So due to this sudden change in the dimension of this rod or due to this fillet there is stress concentration. So there in, the max, this, in this stress concentration the maximum stress will occur in this re, in this region in this this is the region so we have to find the maximum bending stress in the material as we know that maximum bending stress for this uh, stress concentration problem is that it will be equal to k multiply by m into c divided by i so first we will find this k which is stress factor and stress factor can be obtained by using this figure 16-43 because you can see this is the same scenario there is a fillet over here now this higher height or width is w so this will be w this will be w and this w is equal to 60 millimeter and this smaller height is 40 so this will be small h clear and that is 40 millimeter and this is the fillet radius r which is given as 6 millimeter clear and you can see we, what we will find is w by h ratio and r by h so first we will find w over h so w is equal to 60 and h is 40 so from here you will get W by H is 1.5. Now we'll find R by H ratio. So R by H is equal to R is given as 6 millimeter and H is 40. So that will give you 0 0.15. Now you have W by H and R by H value. So it's very easy now. What we will do is that you can see on FCS or X axis you have R by H ratio and on Y axis you have the value of k and this graph show you w by h ratios so there are so many graph so what we will do is that we will pick first r by h is 0 0.15 so this is 0 0.15 this line is 0 0.15 you can draw a vertical line and w by h is 1.5 so this is W by H is 1.5 which is this graph. Clear? So you can see these two points intersect at this line. So if I draw a horizontal line from here. So this is 1.5. This will be 1.55 and this will be 1.57 which is the value of K. So from here we will take the value of K. So let me write it over here from figure from figure 6 dash 43 we get this k which is stress concentration factor and that is equal to 1.57 okay at this point you can see the cross section will be this one and let me draw this cross section so this height is 40 millimeter clear this is 40 millimeter and this width is 7 millimeter so if i take the half of this so this will be its neutral axis and c is distance from neutral axis till top or bottom so this will be the c and C is equal to 40 divided by 2 which is equal to 20 millimeter and if I convert C in meter it will be 0 0.02 meter now we will calculate the I for this section so we know that it is 1 over 12 
bh cube i is the second moment of inertia so i is 1 over 12 b is 7 millimeter which in meter is 0 0.007 and h is 40 millimeter so that is 0 0.04 power 3 clear now you have all the values you can just put it in this formula so what we will get is maximum bending stress is equal to k into m into c divided by i so we will put the value k is 1.57 moment is given as 17.5 newton into meter so 17.5 and c is 0 0.02 meter divided by i and i is 1 over 12 0 0.007 into 0 0.04 power 3 so when you calculate it you will get maximum bending stress is equal to 14.7 into 10 to the power 6 pascal and if you want to convert it into mega pascal so it will be 14.7 mega pascal which is the answer of this question so we have determined the maximum bending stress in the material and that was all about this problem 6-151 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching and supporting me